What's up you guys? Let's read some energy, but really quick, do not forget to take advantage of the sale going on in my shop right now. You can use the coupon code YouTube25 for 25% off of everything in the shop, okay? I will leave a link to my shop in the description box below, and I will also leave the coupon code in the description box below. Um, okay, so right off the jump, the song that I heard before I did this reading was Madness by Muse. I have the lyrics here because I just want to remember the lyrics that I was hearing. Um, uh, it's like... I, I can't get these memories out of my mind Some kind of madness has started to evolve so it's like, I don't know, there's some sort of like madness going on, I don't know, that's kind of the gist of the song, but the the essence of the song is that, like at the end, he just says, um, I finally have realized I need to love, and that's it, like I just need to love, like he's finally seen the light, he needs to love, okay, I don't know, he realizes what you need, I need to love. That's what he needs. Okay? So that's what the dude in the song says. Alright? That is the song. Let's see what the cards have to say now. Okay? Um, ancestors of the highest white light. There is a message, too, that I... Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, to me, sometimes, um, in general, the message I receive is usually open up your heart. Okay? So I feel like maybe somebody needs to open up their heart. I am also receiving a message. It could be somebody's person who's realizing that they need to love... They need to love themselves. That's kind of the that's kind of the story that I was seeing. Like I got like a really quick like download in my head and it was like somebody needed to learn how to love themselves in order to be able to love you, okay? But I'm also seeing that somebody, so that's somebody's person, but I'm also seeing that there is somebody, there's a karmic in somebody's life who who is not learning how to love themselves. And that is making it difficult for either you or your person to be able to love themselves, to love you. Okay? I, f I hope that that makes sense because that just kind of was channeled. But um, let's pull some cards and let's see what's going on, okay? Ancestors of the highest white light. What's the message here? Uh, Rose Quartz is really good for opening up your heart chakra too, okay? Um... All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, happy home. Okay, that's this is a great start, all right? The world. All right, cool. The end of a cycle. I feel like this is a generational curse that has been broken. Somebody is breaking a generational curse, all right? Fucking beautiful. The Fool card. New beginnings. Gorgeous. Love this. All right, Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, I was, I was totally getting this. I feel like somebody has a karmic parent... Um, maybe a karmic mother, um, because it's a queen, but the cards are not gender specific, queen, king, it doesn't matter, but somebody's a liar, somebody, somebody's lying to themselves, somebody's disillusioned, and, um, like, I, I was hearing, like, smear campaign, too, um, that was kind of the idea that I was getting with, like, this karmic parent, so let's keep, um, pulling some cards. Page of Swords, whoever this is, they might be watching you on your social media. Um, the Page of Swords to me also is just like, I feel like you, you're being divinely guided, okay? Like your angels are watching you with you, okay? The star in the reverse position. Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody is very vain. It's like, actually what I'm hearing is, um, do you guys know what a communal narcissist is? A communal, a communal narcissist is, um, Someone who is like a, a humanitarian, but only if they are getting attention for it, okay? That's what a communal narcissist is. So I don't know why that kind of popped up in my head, but I feel like somebody is um, like that. It's They're kind of vain. Like they do good things just so that they can, for clout, okay? Um, what else? Page of Wands. I feel like um, you and your person are receiving divine guidance to be able to come back together, so that's really good news. What else? Four of Wands. This could be a twin flame dynamic as well. But I definitely see a higher level of commitment here, um, and I feel like the dynamic is going to be very fruitful. This is beautiful. This is actually, um, there's like a church on the other side here, so higher level of commitment for sure. It's beautiful. 
Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this reading. This is great. Really good luck. I mean, it's, you're being divinely guided, okay? I feel like both of you have gone through um, something that made it so that both of you had to um, uh, become more emotionally fulfilled for yourselves. I, f I feel like, actually, I feel like both of you are relatively emotionally fulfilled. It's just like there was um, some karmic energy that was um, making it, like, what I'm hearing is making the relationship potentially become codependent, and that's why there were there were separations. All right, take what resonates, you guys. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. It's like it wasn't moving forward, okay? And that's why it wasn't moving forward, because it was like somebody was being drained. And then we've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. They're not going to fuck with you anymore, okay? Karma said, nope, we're not letting this happen anymore. The pe we're, we're bringing our lovers together, These this divine union, okay? Nine of Wands in the reverse position, too, I feel like, um, they're kind of, they're coming out of, um, the prison of their mind, all right? Your person is kind of coming out of this prison of your, their mind. It could also be you, too. I feel like the two of you are actually mirroring each other a lot, okay? Um, I'm hearing Malachite might also be good for somebody, um, just to, like, ground in that self-love, okay? Um, Black Tourmaline, I'm also hearing, would be very good. Knight of Swords. This fucker is coming in. Somebody is coming in, okay? Um, and we've got the devil in the reverse position, too. They're obsessed. And I don't think it's obsessed in a bad way. I think it's actually they're obsessed, like... They were always obsessed. They just didn't understand what was going on, um, is the message that I'm hearing. And that's what got them trapped in their head as well. They thought too much about it. Um, that's neither here nor there. What else is there? What is the message? King of Swords. Wow. I feel like both of you are divine channels in that regard. Lapis Lazuli would be very good for both of you. Um, Lapis Lazuli helps to um, intellectualize our experiences, um, you know, and um, and channel them, channel messages in in a grounded way. Okay, um, especially like emotional things. Um, it, it resonates with the throat chakra, okay? It's, it's fantastic. Even if, if you, like, read cards or if you journal, too, Lapis Lazuli is amazing for, like, journaling as well, okay? But we have the King of Swords here. I definitely feel like this person is coming in with an intellectual truth as well. I feel like they're coming in with more than that, though. I feel like they're coming in with a higher level of commitment. Eight of Cups, yeah. They've, we're out of the karmic fog, okay? What else? Yeah, Three of Swords in the reverse position. No more broken hearts. Eight of Swords. I feel like the karmic is going to be caught in their head. That's what we have the Eight of Swords here for. I'd like to clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. I'd like to clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. The Justice card. Karmic justice, all right? They're going to be caught in their head. There's a karmic that is um, that has been trying to get somebody caught in their head. Um, it's like misery loves company is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, and remember, it could be a parent. It could just be, it could be like anybody, okay? It could be any type of a karmic. But um, it's what I'm hearing is, is it's like, it's, it's actually a, a parent who didn't, who wouldn't take accountability and it's like, to make themselves feel comfortable, they were trying to make somebody else feel crazy. All right, just take what resonates. That's insane, though. But you know, what else, spirit? Anything else? Three of Wands in the reverse position. They want to come home. Three of Wands can often be, um, you know, movement forward, outward, traveling, and then the reverse position is coming home. What else, spirit? I also feel like, um, yeah, they were getting in the way of this divine union. We have the Ten of Swords here. They were getting in the way of, this was a betrayal. Why? Ancestors of the White Light, why? Jealousy. What else, Spirit?
Denial. What else, Spirit? Mmm. This is somebody, the karmic is somebody who doesn't think that they deserve happiness or doesn't, obviously they don't love themselves, so they don't, they don't, they don't feel that way. So they, um, they, because they don't feel like they deserve happiness, it could be a mother, and it's because they don't think that they deserve happiness, it's like, they don't think that their child deserves happiness, or they, they, I'm actually seeing it's like a mother with a son and is sabotaging the relationship between the son and his person because she doesn't think that the that because she doesn't think that she deserves happiness she doesn't think that women in general deserve happiness or any woman deserves happiness or something like that I don't know that's a message that's very specific for somebody I don't know just take what resonates you guys remember that these are all general readings okay so there might be little bits and pieces that will resonate with you and little bits and pieces that may resonate with other people um there's another message that's coming through too um, but I'm seeing like a butterfly, so I feel like it's like the two of you have kind of like rested on this, meditated on this, whether you know it or not, you've kind of healed and, and been observing this, and you're understanding a little bit better. I, what else? There was another message too. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Um... Yeah, Five of Cups. I like Misery Loves Company. Okay. Yeah, Four of Cups. Victim mentality. Why do people do that? It's so weird. Um, but we have the Chariot here. So, movement forward. Yeah. What else, Spirit? And the Ten of Pentacles. And the World. And the Ten of Swords in the Reverse Position. And the Four of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the Fool. So I think I'm just going to leave this reading here. Because this is a beautiful reading, and I hope that it resonates. I hope that it helps anybody, all of you, everyone. Um, and I hope that you are all doing really, really amazing. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Don't forget to use that coupon code, YouTube25, for 25% 25 off in the shop. Um, and yes. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.